What's going on guys? In this Lightroom tutorial, we're creating the popular light and airy filter. Here are some before and after edits using this filter. As always, the light and airy sample filter is available for free on our website, so check the link in the description below. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future Lightroom tutorials. Now, with that out of the way, fire up your Lightroom mobile app and let's start editing. All right. So head over to the light tab and press on exposure and bring it up to 44. Next, head over to your contrast tab and bring it up to 46. Head over to the highlights and bring it down to minus 58. Then increase your shadows by 52. Decrease the whites by 13 and then increase the blacks by 46. All right, so next we're going over to the curves, which is in the top right corner and create the dots just like I show you on the screen. Raise the bottom left dot a little bit to create a little bit of a faded look. And then the second from the top right, you'll raise as well, creating some sort of an S curve. All right. That's it. Next, we're going over to the color tab and we're raising the temperature slider by seven. Raise up the tint by plus two. Go over to the color mix tab and over to orange and change the saturation to plus 24 and then the luminance to minus 20. Head over to the yellow tab and change the saturation to minus 60 and the luminance to plus 25. Go over to the green tab Change the saturation to minus 77 and the luminance to minus 44. Go over to the cyan tab and change the saturation to min 77 and the luminance to plus 63. Go over to the blue tab, change the saturation to min 72 and the luminance to plus 61. That is it for the color mix tab. Then go over to your effects panel and change your clarity to plus 30. Next, go over to the split toning tab and adjust the highlight box. Make sure that the U matches 66 degrees and the shadows match nine degrees. Next, go over to the shadow box and make sure that the U matches 207 degrees and the saturation 23 degrees. And that is it for this look. So this is the before and this is an after shot. Cool, that will wrap things up for this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please like this video so more people can learn from our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channel and definitely leave your suggestions for future filters down in the comments below. Cool, thanks for watching and until the next one, peace.